Okay, so opening our file in the browser is probably not what you expected. Looking at it in developer tools, the structure is exactly as you defined it, but the style description isn't there. And the browser uses its default style for all of the elements. And as you can see, it's not very pretty. And the visual layout is completely off as well. Let's go ahead and add in some styles. Do you remember earlier when I talked about the HTML file telling the browser where to find the style information? Yeah, we need to add that. First, you need to add a single line at the start of the HTML file. This tells the browser that the type of document is an HTML document. Then you need to add the top level tag HTML because everything here is HTML. And don't forget, every time we have the start tag, we also need to have the end tag. And then, so our code is easier to read, we'll indent our HTML structure so that it's located in between our two HTML tags. After the HTML tag, we need to add a head tag. This is where you'll add the link to the style file. To add a link to the style file, we start typing link and then hit tab. Here, Sublime Text has automatically filled in all of the information we need except for the name of the file that contains our style information, which in this case is called style.css. After the closure of the head tag, we then add the body tag. Now, contained within our body tags will be our HTML structure that we wrote before. So we need to move this code in between our body tags. Again, for code readability, we've indented the HTML structure. So that we have a bit more to look and work with, let's replace the placeholder description with some text. You can choose to write your own text or simply use what we've provided in the instructor notes. Once the text is added, save the file and then refresh your browser page. You can see that it updated with the text that we've included. And since you've linked your style sheet to your HTML file, you can go to the style.css file and add some style to the page. And just for fun, how about we add the following style? Save the file and refresh your browser. Then tell me what happened. Did the box with class description turn red? Did all text turn red? Or did the text in the description box turn red? Or did nothing happen?